Today, we're diving into the incredible power of multimodal AI, specifically how to harness the capabilities of Meta's Llama open source vision model right here on your own computer. This is an example of the results when using Llama for OCR extraction. Stick around to learn how you can do this yourself. Forget online providers and their API costs. We're going to show you how to use this model for free by going local. Get ready to see how we can easily set up and run Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, using Llama 3.2 Vision, unlocking a world of possibilities for interacting with images and documents directly on your PC. Okay, let's get started. Before we can run our model, we need to set up a Python environment with the necessary libraries. We have made that easy by providing a setup YAML file. All you need to do is copy our repo from GitHub and run the conda create command. When Conda is finished running, you need to activate this new environment. Then you can run the Python script. You also need to install the Olama application on your desktop. Click on download and follow the instructions. Also, download the model we will be using today using this command. When it's finished downloading, you can verify the installation was successful with the list command. In our case, we downloaded some other models for other videos we see the Llama 3.2 vision model in our list. You can run this model directly by using the Olama run command here. We will be using Python to access the model and provide an image for the model to process. This is the model cache directory where models are downloaded to. You may need to start up the Olama service yourself. Here are three different ways to get an Olama running. Now for the code. We will be using requests for our API calls. We have another example script using Olama, although this will be included in our repo. Then we include a local timer package. This is how we use it with a function as a decorator. We use Base64 to encode or convert our image into the format the model is expecting. Here is our prompt. It includes detailed instructions on how we want the model to work. It took some trial and error to get this format, and it works well with our OCR only use case. This function converts an image into the base64 format. This function sets up and runs the model. It takes in three parameters, a model name, image path, and the prompt from above. First, we take the image and convert it. Then we create the JSON payload to send to our local service API. Format includes a few basic parameters. The images are sent in as an array. We are only processing one image today, but the model can handle multiple images at the same time. Then we send the JSON to our local API with this URL. We do some error handling and then return the text portion of the response. Here we are running the function, only passing in the prompt. The other two parameters will use the default values. If a proper result is returned, we print it out. Now we are ready to run the script. This will take a few minutes to run. No errors, that's good. This took around 100 seconds, and from the response, we can see that the model is also able to detect sections of the receipt, not just extracting the text. We will be investigating this additional functionality in another video. For now, we concentrate on the model's OCR abilities. In a side-by-side -side comparison, we can see the model was able to see all the text, even the save money, live better in small font. Some other models have trouble with this line. In this video, we walk through the process of using Meta's Llama 3.2 vision model to perform OCR for text extraction right here on your local PC. We cover the key steps from installing a Llama to explaining the code to running the model and extracting text from a receipt. The beauty of this approach is the ability to harness powerful AI vision capabilities offline, offering both speed and data security. If you found this helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more AI tutorials and explorations. Let me know in the comments what other vision tasks you'd like to see in a future video. Okay, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching our video. As always, questions and comments are welcome. See you next time.